All right, we're going to do the Lewis Dot structure for phosphate now. So phosphate, this is a polyatomic ion that you should be familiar with. If you look up the actual structure, phosphate is PO4. What's the charge on phosphate? Negative three. It's negative three. Yes. Now, step one, let's find the valence, okay? So find all the valence electrons. Three, so two. phosphorus, if you look it up, has how many? Five. Where are you getting three from? I was looking at the top of the charge. Oh, you're thinking the charge. No, it's got, it's got five. So we've got five. Oxygen. What do we got for oxygen? Oxygen has... Six. How many oxygens do I have? Four. Times four. So five plus six times four. Now, when we do this, there's one other thing we have to account for, actually. We have to account, I'll use a different color, for the ionic charge. So the ionic charge it looks like Christmas colors, doesn't it? Red and green. That's wonderful. Okay. Um, Phosphate has a negative three charge. What does that mean in terms of electrons? It's got three more electrons, right? So plus three more. So you all don't forget that because then stuff won't work out. Whenever you have an ion, you must account for the ionic charge when doing this, or else it isn't going to make sense because you're going to not have enough electrons where you should. So you add this all up. What number do you get? You get 32, not 123. Um, so you get 32. Now, uh -huh. now next step, we're going to draw our skeleton structure. So P is going to go in the middle, right? You got one P, you got four O's. So you go one, two, three, four. Now remember what we do. Each line that we draw counts as two electrons. Each line counts as two electrons. So, how many electrons did I just put in this diagram? Eight. Eight, so subtract eight. So we're left with 24 electrons that we can add. Now, this is where the dot part comes in. So it's the next step. Add six more electron dots to each atom except the central atom. Also, never add dots to hydrogen because it only ever wants to. Here's what that means. Right now, how many electrons does oxygen have? Two. two. Each oxygen only has two. Okay? How many does each oxygen actually want? Zero. Eight. Thirty-two. Well, think about it. valence. What is the octet rule? Everything wants to have eight electrons in its outer shell. In this case, that's the goal of oxygen. That's why it's bonding the phosphorus, by the way. So what that means, we need to add electrons around it to get it to eight. So we've got 24 electrons. We always add them in pairs, by the way. So always add the electrons in pairs. So let's just start and go around and see what happens. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, we're, there's four sides, like with the Lewis dot diagrams. So we just put six in. Then we go 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Notice I'm stopping when I get to 8 for each oxygen because you can't do more. Because remember, what does this bond count for? 2. Counts for 2. So you've got to stop at 8. So, so we're at 12, then 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I just added 24 electrons. If you subtract 24 electrons, what do we got? We got zero left over. So your job now is to look and say, does everything in this diagram have eight electrons? Yeah. Well, yes, you, got, you can look at phosphorus. You again remember that these are shared. These go to both. In the next couple days, we'll talk about how they're not exactly shared equally, like when two siblings share toys. 
usually they're not shared equally. Uh, but in this case, for right now, let's just say they're shared. So you look at every oxygen, two, four, six, eight, they all got eight, right? So we're done. That's it. That's the Lewis structure for phosphate. Yeah. Um, do you always take the first letter and put it in the middle? For today, yeah, for the most part. There will be like one or two minor exceptions. Sometimes there is no central atom. You'll see. Okay. But ask me that question at the end of today. Yeah. What if it was one of those ones like CLO4? Same thing. The CL just goes in the middle. We'll, we'll talk about how those all work out. Okay. That's, that's a little bit more confusing. Okay. Because that's called, that's dealing with expanded octets and stuff. Sometimes... Just so you know, in the future, if you ever do encounter this, sometimes there are atoms that can have more than eight electrons in their valence shell. That gets pretty confusing, though, for especially for the first day, so we don't talk about that.